Right now we're going to turn our attention to high school football and uh, college football and all, all things football as we welcome in M- Millville football legend Tony Serace. Good morning, Tony. Good morning. Good morning. Just listened uh, to the part of your interview with the Mainland girls. Wishing them luck uh, for all of South Jersey tomorrow. I'm sure they appreciate it. And uh, before we get going on on what's going on tomorrow, tell us a little bit about your career and um, give, give us some some memories of the the old Thunderbolts back in the day. <laughs> well, the old Thunderbolts are getting older, you know. Did, I, did they have the uh, the, the single bar helmets back then? <laughs> no, we didn't have the single bar helmets, <laughs> but uh, you know, it was a it was certainly a lot different game back then. But uh, uh, you know, it's uh, it's amazing to see some of the players that that I had. You know, I uh, I coached in uh, the '60s, '70s, '80s, and '90s, so uh, I had the whole gamut uh, there of years taken care of. But the uh, you know, the football's still the same. It's still, you know, you got to block, you got to tackle. Uh, and, uh, you know, what helps, too, is if you have some really fast guys, which, you know, when we had some great teams, we, we, we had fast players, and, and uh, that's that's still true today. Now, Coach, uh, old, old ball coaches always say that uh, players were a lot tougher in the 60s and 70s. Is that true? I don't know if we were tougher. <laughs> I don't think we were smart. <laughs> we were smart coaching them. You know, some of the things that, uh, you know, I'd like to think over those four decades, I evolved a little bit. But even when I when I ended my career in a, as a coach in the mid 90s, uh, you know, I see the, you know, the things that, uh, uh, that uh, I look back at the things that we did and I see the things that are being done today, which are so much better, so much safer. You know, back in the day, no water on the field. You know, uh, God forbid you gave somebody water as a sign of weakness. Yeah. Now you hydrate every, you know, every two minutes, you know, you have to hydrate, which is a smart thing, good thing to do. And uh, so those things have all evolved, and that's that's really good. And I see the things, you know, I'm up on uh, college campuses all the time, both my boys <clears throat> being head coaches in college, and I, and I watch, uh, uh, you know, the things that those guys uh, now do from a safety standpoint. It's all good stuff. We're talking with uh, Tony Serace, a Millville football coaching legend. And, uh, Coach, what was it like coaching back in the 60s and 70s? I'm sure high school kind of really never changes to a certain degree. Um, I'm sure you had to deal with the same type of things and uh, the the boys getting distracted by the cheerleaders and all that stuff and, you know, <laughs> everything else that goes into high school football. Well, one thing we didn't have back then was social media. You know, we didn't even, uh, that was, wasn't thought of through my entire coaching career. That that, that didn't exist. And, and uh, <clears throat> you know, whether it's players uh, going back and forth with teammates or going back and forth with opponents, uh, that, that, that whole issue has, uh, you know, has certainly changed uh, uh, significantly, uh, uh, you know, that we never had to, you know, had to deal with. Uh, and I think that, you know, again, the, the, the game – the essence of the game is the same. And, um, you know, uh, uh, now with the advent of, of uh, all the no huddle and, 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 and um, spread offenses, but in a sense, it's almost like the single wing teams. Now, I never ran the single wing, but I had to defend it a couple of times. And, uh, you know, it's very similar to what, what these spread offenses are today. They didn't throw it quite as much, but there's a lot of spread teams that don't throw the ball you know, 25 or 30 times. There's a lot of spread teams that want to spread you out and run the ball. Now, Coach, uh, things kind of come back in style every so often. So when are we going to see the triple option and the veer again? (laughs) When are we going to see the full house backfield again? I don't know, but that was my offensive preference. And, and, um, and, and I, I eventually evolved. I mean, I ran a lot of different offenses, tried to fit the offense to the personnel, but, uh, uh, you know what? You can win with any offense. I think it's a matter of, of teaching it and uh, and having good players. I mean, the most important thing is to have have good players, and then as a coach, not screw them up. But uh, I, I really prefer an option team. I really like option football. Um, we we ran some option even when we were in the spread uh, the last few years that I coached. Uh, I, I I I read an article recently where you know there are still. There are still some colleges, not many, but a few, that run run option football. Uh, they're not, you know, the predominant colleges that you you read about the the, the uh, 1A super programs, but uh, there are a few that still run the option. Well, Navy, Navy still runs that triple course, option, right? Georgia Tech. I'm Georgia sorry. Georgia Tech and Navy still run that triple option. 
Georgia Tech, Navy, and Army. Army, and, yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm down there at the Tropicana where they gave Coach Moyton from Army the uh, Coach of the Year and uh, winning 11 games and uh, and just, you know, scoring 70 points against Houston. So, uh, in the in the final game, in the you know, in the, play, in the bowl game, you can still score, still score a lot of points with good players. Talking with uh, Tony Serace, Millville football coaching legend. And, and Coach, tell us about tomorrow, the National uh, Football Federation. What's going on with this dinner? Um, I guess it's been going on for, for many years now. It's, it's a scholarship thing for a lot of high school guys. So give us kind of a synopsis of what's going on tomorrow. I'd be happy to. It's, it's a near and dear to my heart. Uh, I'll give you a real quick history of it. Uh, uh, the late Ed Burns, the late great Ed Burns, uh, a good – a good adversary for many, many years at Holy Spirit. That was, uh, uh, believe it or not, uh, almost was up there with the violent rivalry for Millville uh, back in the 70s and 80s, uh, uh, coaching against Ed. But uh, uh, Ed had a, um, a great player, Billy Walsh. We all know Billy, and we, we keep Billy near and dear to our hearts uh, uh, with what he's dealing with. But uh, Billy uh, was honored by the Maxwell Club up in, up in Mercer County in Trenton, at Trenton State at the time by the National Football Foundation, College Football Hall of Fame, um, uh, Mercer County chapter. And Ed came back and said, we need to do this. And he got a group of us together and said, we need to do this down here. Um, we need to honor our scholar athletes in football. And, uh, and he started that in 1992. <clears throat> and then when Ed passed away, Father D'Amico ran it for a few years from Holy Spirit, and then uh, and then I became the president uh, for for a number of years. And and uh, right now, Mike McGee, the, the uh, uh, outstanding athletic director at Cedar Creek, is the president. And uh, Mike Gatley had it for a number of years. And what we what we do is we try to honor the best football players who have the highest academic averages on their respective teams as nominated by their respective teams in Atlantic, Cape May, Cumberland, Salem County, and and Southern Regional High School because we kind of felt like Southern's that school that, you know, are they in Central Jersey or in, <laughs> right. in South Jersey here? And Chuck Donnelly has been a good friend and a good supporter of the National Football Foundation for a long time. So uh, this year, I believe there's, if I remember correctly, 23 players that have been nominated and qualified uh, uh, by their academic academics to receive a $500 scholarship and that money that uh, 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 for scholarships is raised through donations by the many, many sponsors that I'm not going to name them because I can't, there's too many and I'll forget some and that wouldn't be <laughs> fair, but uh, they, 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 you know, those contributors are giving to a great cause. Now, in addition to that, uh, we, we named the official of the year. We named the contributor to football of the year. Um, we named uh, a distinguished American, uh, and we name college uh, players of the year. This year we have four college players covering all divisions, one, two, uh, and, uh, and, and one double A and, and three. So uh, we're very proud of the fact that we're able to give, give back, in a sense, to those college players who have excelled from those respective high schools in in in, in, uh, in those county in our southern southern county. So uh, it's it's a great organization. It's a takeoff uh, of the College Football Hall of Fame based in Atlanta, Georgia. If you ever get a chance, you're a college football fan, and you're in the Atlanta area. You need to go to that Hall of Fame. I've been there. It is an outstanding place to visit. Has all the college football players there, and it has the various chapters. They have a kiosk. You go to it, you plug in South Jersey chapter, and all the names of all the players who have received awards are there by year. So it's kind of a neat thing. Go ahead, Coach. You there? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, so, Coach, uh, the dinner starts at, at 5 tomorrow. How how long is yes. it going to take for you to get out of there and, and tell all those football stories? <laughs> will, you, will you be there until 11? No, no. This <laughs> dinner moves very quickly. The uh, over the years, we found that the last thing people want to do is hear a lot of speeches. So as the as the dinner progresses, uh, we we have continuous awards. So uh, we don't mind a little clanging of the forks and things uh, while they're eating. Uh, we we move through it very quickly. Uh, none, uh, we have one response 
representing all the 23 players. So we don't have 23 players, you know, accepting an award and, and, uh, and all speaking. So we have one player response. Uh, and then we have uh, those special awards uh, of which uh, many exist of just saying, thank you. I appreciate it. And so uh, we're the social hours, five to six, the banquet starts at six and uh, we're sometimes out of there uh, before eight o'clock. So it's, it, it moves very quickly. Well, Coach, I was just talking to uh, Kelly Walsh last night, uh, Coach Bill Walsh's daughter, and, and she said he's doing okay. I mean, obviously it's a tough thing going through ALS, but, um, he, you know, he, he's the same old Bill Walsh, uh, texting players and, and uh, probably coming up with all kind of game plans and stuff, so you'll be happy to know that. Well, that, that is good news uh, to hear. He is uh, uh, one, of the, one of the truly great people besides a great football coach and a great uh, uh, person. He's just uh, he's a special person. He's in a lot of prayers of a lot of folks in South Jersey. Well, Tony, I'll see you out there tomorrow night. Uh, Mike McGee was kind enough to invite me over to the dinner, so I'm going to run up to uh, Tom's River, cover the, the mainland girls in the state championship game, and then uh, head back down this way for that dinner. So I'll be talking to you tomorrow, oh, and um, appreciate oh, the invite by Mike McGee. It's going to be a fun night of uh, getting, getting together with all these football guys. Absolutely, and thanks for giving a little notoriety to the to the found, uh, 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 to the uh, uh, foundation here, and 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 for what they do, we do a lot of people do for these kids. So thanks, thanks, Sully, appreciate it. No problem, Tony. It's always a pleasure talking to uh, an old Millville football guy, old, old ball coach. We appreciate <laughs> it, man. Uh, you're welcome. Nice to be on. Take care. Thanks. Have a great weekend, buddy.